My name is Nadia, and I'm coming to you live from DEM News Studio. February is Black History Month, and we are celebrating some of the most influential events and people that were in that time. Herbie Hancock. Herbie Hancock was an award-winning pianist and songwriter. Born on April 12, 1940 in Chicago, Illinois, Hancock started learning how to play piano at age seven. Even at a young age, he started playing Mozart with the Chicago Symphony. Besides his musical talents, Hancock attended the Grinnell College in 1956 for electrical engineering, for he had also been obsessed with mechanical gadgets since childhood. However, his love of music overpowered his love of mechanics. This caused him to form a group and begin arranging music. He had many accomplishments in his life. Hancock made music for several movies and was given 14 Grammy Awards. His music had an impact on many people and was very influential in his time. Now for the Children's March. In the spring of 1963, the children of Birmingham, Alabama marched in the hopes of ending segregation. The children's ages ranged from four years old to 18 years old. There are many faces, they faced many challenges by being attacked by fire hoses and police dogs. Revan Evel was a civil rights activist that wrote all of the children together. Bevel was called on by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to help end segregation. They arrived at the 16th Street Baptist Church and began to pray. They marched while singing songs and holding signs that read, We Shall Overcome. Their end goal was to achieve the end of segregation, but 4,000 children were arrested that day. President John F. Kennedy spoke out about racism in a speech upon witnessing the violence that took place at the march. Four months after the march, the 16th Street Baptist Church was bombed and four children were killed. Shortly after the bombing, a civil rights leader in the Southern Christian Leadership Conference developed a plan to desegregate Birmingham. Birmingham was notorious for its unemployment and public life. May 2nd turned into D-Day because kids cut class to participate in a second march for justice. Children of all ages marched, singing freedom songs as they went. Almost 1,000 children were arrested that day. 